Hello there. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday so far. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's live. And today our live is um, called or what we're talking about is what weight loss is not So I'm sure you had some like preconceived, you know, notions or conceptions as far as what you thought we're going to talk about here. But I'm going to tell you that in just one minute. So if you're watching this live, please comment team live. If you're watching this replay, please comment team replay. I wanted you to do it at this time because this is when most people, your energy is in the tank. You're feeling like crap right now. You're like, oh my gosh, I got an hour, hour and a half, two hours left from work. I'm here to bring that energy for you so that you can start to feel better and that you're ready to go and you're having a good rest of your Tuesday. So it looks like we got Crystal on here live. Amy's on here live with us. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us. We are going to get started in just one minute. Grab your snack if you haven't had a snack yet today, especially if you had lunch around noon. Grab your water, take a sip of water. I just filled mine up. And we are going to get started. Woohoo! Amy says, hey, Emily, team live. Crystal says, hello. I'm excited, guys. So we are talking about what weight loss isn't. Now, I was talking with a client this morning, and she was talking about another podcast that she was listening to where um, I learned a lot of stuff actually from this client or some things that it's like, okay, parallels of what we do, different ways that we can say things or phrase things. And some of the things that her and I were talking about and things that she had learned over the past couple of years of her and I working together have really resonated. And I want to kind of break down what we usually think as far as with weight loss and nutrition and health changes are and what it actually is. So weight loss isn't, weight loss isn't how little you can eat. It's not about that. It's not about constantly cutting back your food. You've tried that route before and over and over and over again, and it's left you at the same spot that you are right now. Weight loss is not about how little you can eat. It's not about, can I cut back my intake again because I'm not seeing progress. We have to remember, and we're gonna talk about this one in a minute, What you do to lose the weight will be what you do to keep it off. So if you are constantly cutting back your intake and you're not eating enough, and then you say, all right, I reached my goal, and then all of a sudden you stop doing that and you go back to your normal routine and you introduce all of these foods and that you swore it off, at that time you're going to see your weight rebound. You're going to see all of these things come back. Weight loss is not about how little you can eat. Weight loss is about understanding how to fuel your body, your unique body, so that you are getting in everything that you need, that you are getting in the nutrients, the protein, the fiber, the fat, those vitamins and minerals in order for your body to function properly and for you to honor your body. Because when we just cut back again and again and again with our food, we're going to be causing more damage than we are helping it. When we cut back our intake over and over again, your metabolism has to slow down. It has to accommodate for the less energy that you're giving it. We don't want slow metabolisms. We all want fast metabolisms. And the biggest piece of that is making sure that you're fueling your body right, that you're fueling your body with things that it needs, and that you're having variety and that you're understanding what your body is asking you to. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Timmy. Thanks for joining us. So weight loss is not about how little you can eat. It's about understanding what your body needs and making sure that you're honoring that. Hey, Ash, thanks for joining. We got a lot of people on here today. I'm excited. Um, So not about how little you can eat. You've tried that route over and over and over again. Restriction is not the answer. You've been there. You failed at it. And you're willing to try it again, even though you know it's not something that's going to work. It's not about how little you can eat. Weight loss is not a race. When you confine yourself to a timeline or a preconceived notion that it should only take you two weeks to lose 10 pounds or whatever it is, you're setting yourself up for failure. You're setting yourself up for disappointment. You're also setting yourself up so that you can't see those little wins along the way. If you're coming in and saying, I'm expecting to lose 30 pounds this month, I'm going to ask you, which limb are we cutting off? Are we going both legs? Do you want above the knee, below the knee? Where are we ending up with this? Because I'm sure that you have felt this way and I'm sure you've experienced this and fallen down that rabbit hole too of like, I need to lose the 30 pounds in four weeks or five weeks, six weeks, whatever it is. And then at the end of that time, you're like, I'm only down 10. I failed. And then you stop and then you start over again as far as going back to those old habits and hurting ourselves. Not on purpose, just because we haven't changed those behaviors. So stop to setting stop setting yourself up with a timeline and saying, I have to be here that by this point or else I'm failing and start letting it be like, I'm going to ride this wave and I'm going to make sure that my body's adjusting accordingly. So at the end of this, I'm not having this weight rebound. I'm not 
struggling to keep the weight off, that I feel good and my energy is good and I feel good with making the choices going further. It's not a race. It only gets you discouraged and only upsets you when life happens and you derail. We have so many things happening in our lives right now. It is very hard for a lot of people to be able to stay focused and stay on task and stay looking at that bigger picture. If you're setting yourself up and saying, I want to lose 15 pounds in December, and then your to-do list is a mile long, you're feeling like you're setting yourself up for failure at that point. It is not a race. Ride the wave. It will go down if you are consistent and not eating as little as possible. <laughs> Number four, weight loss is not doing something drastic in order to achieve results. Knowing that it's what you do to lose the weight will have to be what you do to keep it off. So if you're doing something right now or think back to something that you've tried in the past where you've said, oh, you know, I thought I could do this forever. Keto is a lifestyle change. But then you realize that you can't have Christmas cookies and that if you do want to have the Christmas cookies, you have to make keto cookies and your kids don't really want keto cookies and they probably shouldn't be having keto cookies. Maybe it's you were doing paleo and dairy products aren't on paleo. A lot of the foods that we eat aren't on paleo and you want to be able to have some of those things again. Understanding that these drastic changes, this drastic res um, restriction is not that path for us to feel most successful. It's leading down the path of a drastic loss, but then that rapid weight regain because you're not learning anything from it. You're not understanding the process behind the nutrition. You're not understanding what's the next step going to be in order for me to stay successful. It's just how can I just get this off as fast as possible and then be burnt in the end. What you do to lose the weight will have to be what you do to keep it off. So asking yourself, if you're not happy with what you're doing right now, if you're like, I feel like I'm spinning my tires or like, I feel like I'm giving up who I am and things that matter to me and front time with friends in order to be able to maintain a look or a style or whatever it is, it's asking yourself, is it worth it? Is there something better for me? Can we teach you how to make better nutrition decisions and more rounded, well-rounded plates and guide you through an appropriate deficit that's not going to be hurting you in the long run? What you do to lose the weight will have to be what you do to keep it off. Weight loss is not about outsmarting your cravings. It's about recognizing the pattern. A lot of our cravings have to do with the pattern of our lives and our routines. Yes, there are some cravings that we can get because we're not having the right food. But if you're finding that you're getting a craving right after eating a meal, it's more likely that that craving is coming from a routine or a pattern. We put our lives on autopilot so much of the time. How many times have you driven to work or to the grocery store or wherever to drop the kids off and you're like, I literally just forgot that I drove here. Like, I don't remember how I get here. What road did I take? I've had that happen to me before. We're on autopilot too often where we let those decisions kind of become non-decisions because it's already made up for us in that pathway that's happening in our mind. We are connected and saying, this is what I'm going to do next without even realizing it. If you're someone who has a stressful call or stressful time with your boss or a stressful conversation with your family or your kids are having a meltdown and your first reaction is put the kids to bed and then turn to the cabinet to go grab something, then that means that we have to rewire of the like, whoa, let's slow down here. How am I feeling? Am I hungry? Am I full? What am I trying to get out of it? Because a lot of these cravings, you're just trying to get that change of mental state. You're trying to get that hit of dopamine. You're trying to change your physical state when nothing changes if you're just going to go and have a handful of cookies. It's not about outsmarting your cravings. It's about understanding those patterns that we put ourselves in and those next steps that we're always looking for without even realizing it. Weight loss is understanding that things are going to change and we're going to take baby steps with it. And there's not going to be perfection, but rather than wiring ourselves to automatically turn and grab the cookies, I got cookies right here. One of my clients gave me cookies. We've had one each. They've been in our house now for over 24 hours. I'm sure that there are plenty of people, if you're watching this live or replay, where you could have those cookies in your house and be like, they are gone within 24 hours. Asking yourself, what are these patterns that I've tied myself into? Are these things that are happening that are setting me up for failure? And how can I become more mindful or aware of the things that we're doing and these patterns that we're going on? How can we change that narrative? How can we change what we're doing without it being changing your entire world? 
we never want to give you more than you can handle. You'll never be given more than you can handle. But especially with our one-on-one -on -one clients, we never want to give you more than you can handle. We want it to be at a good and steady pace so that you're not someone who's done this great job and then all of a sudden falls off. We want you to be able to graduate and feel so confident in what you're doing and confident in yourself and these changes that you've been making that there's no choice but to continue pushing forward and to not have to throw everything off the wagon. Weight loss is not about outsmarting yourself. It's understanding what your body is trying to tell you and those patterns that you have and how we can change those or how we can be flexible and what we can learn from ourselves on what those next steps are. So just to review, weight loss is not how little you can eat. Chances are you've tried that route over and over again and you've been left burned. So stop trying to keep cutting back your intake. Stop trying to do less and less eating. Start listening to your body. It's not a race. When you confine yourself to a timeline, you get discouraged and upset when life happens and then you derail. It is not a race. Give yourself that time and that grace. Things are going to happen. Doing something, weight loss is not doing something drastic in order to achieve results. It's knowing that you, what you need to do to lose and will be in the future. So how am I going to stay consistent with this? Is this something that I can do forever or is this something that I can only do for the next two weeks because I'm already getting bored of it by day two? And lastly, it's not outsmarting your cravings. It's recognizing the pattern that we find ourselves in and what that means. You know, if you're someone who has a stressful day at work and you take a certain route home from work and you drive by all of the um, all of the takeout places and you find yourself stopping and want to get fries or a shake or whatever it is, maybe we need to change that. Maybe we need to change a different route that we're going home. Maybe we need to put it into our calendar or communicate with somebody else. This is what my plan is for today. Help me stay on top of it. It's not about having to throw everything out. It's about how can we work with where you are and change those behaviors over time. So ask yourself, are there any of these things that you put on yourself or these, the jargon, the things that you put in your head, because weight loss is really just mental. A lot of it is mental. There's a lot of science to it. And that's our job. We take that science, we distribute it so that you can understand it and how to apply. But for ourselves, if you're going through it, a lot of it is mental. Get out of your head. Just do. Get out of your head. Just keep going forward. So thank you guys so much for joining today. If you have any questions, you can drop them down in the um, comments below. Just a reminder, this coming Monday, we have our How to Manage Your Stress with Nutrition Masterclass. It is $50. If you want to join our Masterclass membership, it is only $29 a month, 10% off of all of our programs in one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you join the membership, you will also get a monthly Q&A for only those people inside of the membership. So $29 if you want everything. It's going to, um, for all of our master classes, so $29 a month or $50 for the one-off one coming on this Monday. Um, if you have any questions or you need some one-on-one -on -one support or guidance, shoot us a message. We are here to support you. Let's help make sure that you are living the best life that you can, the easiest holiday season ever, and being cognizant of who you are and what it's going to work for you. So thank you guys so much for joining. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. I will see you next week.